In this video, we're going to talk about story of the Tag Hoyer. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Tag Hoyer company is known for its casual sport time pieces with a racing heritage and its commitment to consistently updating and innovating its watch designs. But there was only Hoyer before Tag Hoyer. We examined the company's origins and history as well as the demographics of the Tag Hoyer watch wearers. You must first discuss Hoyer while discussing Tag Hoyer history. In 1860, Edward Hoyer launched the first company bearing his name. Hoyer submitted an astonishing number of patent applications in just a few short years. They obtained a patent in 1869 for a keyless, cron-operated winding mechanism for pocket watches. They obtained a patent for the business first chronograph in 1882. One of their most illustrious inventions for an oscillating pannion mechanism came to them later in 1887. Major watchmakers still employ this technology today. Jules Edward, Edward's son, joined the family business in the same year. Sadly, the company's founder, Edward Hoyer, passed unexpectedly in 1892, five years later. Jules Edward was pleased to continue his father's job. The business submitted yet another patent application in 1895 for its initial water-resistant casing. Then, in 1911, Hoyer obtained a patent for their time-of-trip dashboard chronograph. This invention particularly noteworthy since it initiated Hoyer's long-standing partnership with the aviation and automotive industries. The company's expansion made it possible to conduct more research and development, which finally produced their next significant discovery. The micrograph, the most precise stopwatch at the time, was introduced by Hoyer in 1916. The brand maintained its emphasis on its close ties to the aviation and automobile industries throughout the ensuing few decades. They started making chronographs specifically for pilots in the 1930s. Then in 1933, Hoyer unveiled the Autowheel, another dashboard device for cars and airplanes. The timer on this clock allowed it to run for an amazing eight days without needing to be warned. Hoyer started to refocus their attention in the 1940s. They began producing chronographs for the German Air Force and expanding their line of wristwatches at the same time. They introduced the Autograph in 1948. This watch had a manual reference hand, a tachometer scale, a chronograph function. The first watch featuring a title indication was released by the company the following year, the Solonaire. With the introduction of the first Seafarer in 1950, the emphasis on wrist watches persisted into the 1950s. The original design was the first chronograph in history to include a tidal level indicator and a regatta dial. Hover unveiled the twin time just five years later. The timepiece has a second time zone indication and was a self-winding. Additionally, Hoyer collaboration with the Amber Crombie and Fitch began in the 1950s with bespoke dials and distinctive color schemes. They created seafarer and autograph models exclusively for the company. Hoyer entered space for the first time as a Swiss watchmaker in 1962 with a Hoyer stopwatch on his wrist, John Glenn accomplished the first American space voyage on February 20 of that year. Hoyer introduced one of its now iconic models, the Carrera Chronograph, a year later in 1963. Then in 1969, the company introduced one of its most significant horological innovations. Hoyer had been secretly collaborating with the Breitling, Buren, and Du Bois de Prez on a top secret project known as Project 99. Together they created a chronomatic, the first self-winding chronograph movement. They utilized it in the Carrera, Otavia, and the brand new Monaco wrist chronograph models. Steve McQueen, a well-known actor and racing star, popularized the Monaco. When he was filming the Lee Mann's movie in the 1970s, he wore the recognizable chronograph. Hoyer continues to have a significant impact on the auto industry during this decade. They were the top producer of the timing devices and stopwatches. 
Even some of Hoyer's chronographs have been custom made with racing insignia as one for the illustrious Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hoyer underwent significant upheaval throughout the 1980s. The business was acquired by a firm known as Techniques de Avant-Garde in 1985 and as a result, Tag Hoyer as we know it today was born. They upheld the Hoyer founding principles under the new administration and name. Tag Hoyer long-standing association with the auto industry was continued when they were named the official Tom Keepers for Formula One racing in 1992. The brand's Formula One collection and the later SLR collection, which was developed in collaboration with the Formula One team, were the results of this alliance. Soon after, the Link and Aqua Racer collections debuted under the new Tag Heuer moniker. Tag Heuer is still one of the most creative and prosperous watch companies in the world today. They debuted their first smartwatch, the Tag Heuer Connected, only a few years ago in 2015. Two years later, the company added a second model to its line of smartwatches. It's obvious that Tag Heuer has cemented their place in watchmaking history with a lengthy history of excellence. Since the 1940s, celebrities have been used to brand products, but it wasn't until the 1990s that it really took off in the watch business. Many watchmakers were driven by the quartz crisis to look for creative methods to appeal to a larger and newer audience. The emergence of brand ambassadors therefore got underway. This also applies to Tag Heuer. In fact, it's possible that the brand unintentionally contributed to the rise of the brand ambassadors in the watch sector. Even if Steve McQueen didn't have a formal endorsement agreement, he is deserving of an honorary brand ambassadorship. As one of the brand's heritage ambassadors, the company now honors him. Recently, Tag Heuer adopted a novel strategy while working with its ambassadors. They have broken them down into three categories – lifestyle, sport, and heritage. Working under extreme pressure is a challenge that each group of people faces, but every one of these departments brings something special to the brand. The heritage ambassadors are unique in that each has at least one Tom piece that was influenced by their contributions. It's the Monaco Automatic Chronograph for McQueen. Both the Formula One and Carrera Automatic Chronograph Santa Special Editions are available through Cena. Finally, there are the Heritage and regular Carrera Automatic Chronographs from Fangio. For many people out of necessity and for others out of pure enthusiasm, sports and watches go hand in hand. For many years, watchmakers like Tag Heuer have forged relationships with major athletic events as sponsors or official timekeepers. It's therefore not surprising that they would expand those partnerships to sport ambassadors. The possibilities between Tag Heuer and some of the best athletes in the world are endless, whether it be in stand-up paddle boarding, tennis or hockey. Tag Heuer has a long roster of sport ambassadors representing a wide range of sports. They consist of racers like Alexander Rossi, the youngest American to have a Formula One super license, and Jean-Eric Wern, the youngest French driver in Formula One history. They also collaborate with up-and-coming tennis players including Francis Tiafo, Alex de Menor, Dennis Shapovalov, Petra Kvitova, and Felix Auger. Eliasemi. Tag Heuer is honored to collaborate with athletes who compete in less well-known professional sports. These include hockey with players like Key Lenny, a New York Rangers, goalie Henrik Lundqvist, as well as stand-up paddle boarding. You can typically notice your favorite celebs wearing a nice watch, whether they are on the red carpet or being photographed by the paparazzi in between photo shoots. Tag Heuer is not simply searching for the biggest name or the sexiest star when it comes to lifestyle ambassadors. They have sought out the industry's leading innovations, rule breakers, and real movers and shakers. Powerhouse performers like Chris Hemsworth, renowned entertainers and philanthropists like Patrick Dempsey are currently on their roster. Most likely, if you are considering a Tag Heuer, you want a watch with strong functionality. There are some characteristics that each model in the Tag Heuer catalog shares. 
Each watch produced by the company has a distinct function. Additionally, they are all equally trendy due to their relaxed and sporty aesthetics. The Carrera was initially created by the company as a racing watch. Its main feature, three sub-dials that display hours, minutes and seconds, makes this purpose evident. The driver can easily tell the time because of this. With good cause, the Carrera is undoubtedly Take Heuer's flagship model. It has a timeless, simple form and sizing that appeals to a wide audience. The Monaco is considered a modern classic by Tag Heuer. With its distinctive square case, it makes a statement without a doubt. The Monaco is a solid option to take into consideration if you value bold and modern style. The Tag Heuer Aqua Racer moves away from the realm of racing. Divers can easily read this watch when submerged thanks to its large luminous hands and hour markers. The Aqua Racer is available in a range of materials and has several practical features. The most popular metal is stainless steel. However, there is a two-tone steel and gold alternative if you want something more elegant. Another model in the company's lineup, the Link, provides something a little unique from the other models. The Link is a dress watch as opposed to a sport or tool watch, although it has somewhat sportier style than the typical dress watch. It is still a fantastic choice for daily wear. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go.